Good morning children. How are you? Hope you all are very good. Let me introduce myself. I am Sureka. Today let us start an interesting lesson in English that is never be greedy. See children here is a story of Japan. Let us read the story. High up among the mountains of Japan once there lived an old man. He was not happy because his wife was older than him and she had very bad temper she always kept shouting at him the poor man had only one friend a tame sparrow his wife abused and ill treated even that little bird one day the old man went off to the fields his wife was at her wash tub she made some starch and she put it in a wooden bowl to cool The pet sparrow made a hearty meal of it. The old woman cut off the tip of bird's tongue with a pair of scissors. This will teach you a lesson, she shouted. Now, be off and never come back. When the old farmer returned, he was very sad and angry with his wife. The two quarreled the whole night. The man had no chick or child. to cheer his sad heart several months later the farmer was up in the mountains he saw his old sparrow who chipped good morning it could speak now as humans do it had a wife and two daughters they lived in a bamboo house in the middle of a garden the sparrow took the old woman to his house and offered him candy and custard to eat and several cups of tea to drink one day it bought out two baskets one heavy and the other light it requested the old man to accept one as a parting gift the old man was not greedy he chose the light one and took leave of his host and went back to home he told his wife about his adventure they opened the box It contained a purse that was always full of money and so many jewels. They became rich. So what happened children? At a high mountains of Japan, they lived a family and his wife is older than him, but she is very bad tempered. Bad tempered means bad natured. She used to shout at him always and they used to quarrel very often. So the husband is not having any friends except only a little tame sparrow that means he used to share everything with that sparrow only and one day when he went to the forest the sparrow is at home and the wife is at her wash tub and she prepared some starch we get starch from rice when we are cooking so she prepared that starch to use it for clothes so at that time she kept it in a wooden bowl to cool down by the time the sparrow came and had it as a meal so the wife became very angry previously she is very bad tempered so with this incident she became very angry and she cut the sparrow's tongue and she also shouted that this will teach you a lesson then she also wanted not to come back again then the sparrow flew off when the farmer returned he didn't see the sparrow and he is very angry with her and she they both quarreled the whole night and the man has no chicks or child to share his feelings so several months later when he went up to the mountains he saw that sparrow talking as humans do so he is very happy by seeing that and and the sparrow invited him to his home and gave him several cups of tea and also offered some candy and custard to eat and also given two baskets but in that baskets one is heavy and one is light so our person is not 
that much greedy so he chose the light one as the sparrow gave a gift one is light one and one is heavy one he chose the light one as he is not that much greedy and he went off to his home and explained the everything to his wife and they opened the gift and it contains a purse and the purse is full of money and jewels and the money is always getting increased whenever they are using the money again the next day they are getting the money in that purse and also the jewels so they became the richest let us see the story what happened again the old man old woman also decided to go to the sparrow to get a present the sparrow family was not pleased to see the cruel woman they knew what she had come for they also told her to choose one of the two baskets she chose the heavy one and returned to her cottage very excitedly she tore off the lid but instead of jewels a host of giant wasps flew out and stung her she died the old farmer a wealthy widower adopted a son to comfort him in his old age he always pointed out to the boy the dangers of greed see children wife also decided to get a gift so she decided to go to the sparrow and to get a present so she went to the sparrow's family but the family is not pleased because of the previous incident as she cut off the tongue of the sparrow so they are not pleased by seeing that cruel woman they knew that what for what she had come for so they offered two baskets as they offered to the husband and she chose the heavy one so as she is very greedy she chose the heavy one she thought that heavy one might contain a very big gift so she chose that heavy one and she is very excited what means excited means see, to cause or rose a feeling of expectation see she is very high end expectation so she is very excited as soon as she went to the home she told the lead and she is very fond of that gift but instead of jewels a host of giant wasp came all the wasp came out and stung her and she died at the spot so the old farmer is now a wealthy widower so he is he adopted a son to take care of of him at this old age so he always point out the boy the dangers of greediness he used to tell the stories of the greediness is very danger how the greediness bring out to the dangers or else how the greediness follows to danger path let's see the question and answers children why was the old man not happy give two reasons because of the cruel nature and also she used to fight with him and also the tame sparrow is not with him so he is unhappy why did the old man quarrel with his wife because she used to disagree for everything and she is very bad tempered so he used to quarrel with his wife which of the baskets did the old man choose and why he chosen the light basket because he is not that much greedy so he chose the light one why did the old man old woman go to the sparrow she went to the sparrow to get her present how was the greedy old woman punished for her cruelty as she opened the lid of the present a host of giant wasps flew out and stung her and she died thank you